Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Brilliant Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by First Person. We all want to turn back the clock. For some, it's for vanity. Others, just to relive those glory days. I know I do, but you can't do that if you don't have your mind and your brain in the right place. I would love to wake up every morning with zero brain fog, a clear mind, and be as energized as I was when I was 22, 23. And you can do that with first person, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a big nostalgia guy. I like to think about the good times. I like to have a clear mind, remember things the right way, take care of myself. Thanks to first person, I can take a more active role in my brain's overall health. First person supplements made with functional mushrooms aim to stimulate the body's natural production of specific neurotransmitters that trigger activities like energy, mood, and sleep. Three damn big things right there. Start improving your brain health and cognition with first person. Take it from Bob himself. It's a no-brainer. Get 15% off your first order by going to getfirstperson.com and use code DUMB. That's getfirstperson.com code dumb for 15% off your first order. Again, getfirstperson.com code dumb. Start taking care of your brain today. You want a clear mind. You want a clear brain. You can't go wrong with first person. Gentlemen, 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 bring them in early, bring them in often. You do have Mikey V who looks like a fucking bro. The shoulders look larger than ever right now here today. Could be the angle. Could be the angle. And then, of course, I mean, you always have a special Giuseppe D when you got him in the Magic Johnson jersey. It's my favorite cold cuts is the Magic Johnson jersey cold cuts. Uh, Joey D, can you check in with the folks here, please? Hey, Bob. Are you struggling a little bit today, Cutsy? Uh, no, no, I'm good. Are you sure, no, Joseph? I, I it's okay. By the way, I, Joe, I it's okay. if you are struggling, you're in Nantucket right now, there's nothing wrong if you are struggling to say, hey, you know what? I'm hurting today, boys. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. We had a late night last night. And, uh, you know, you, you don't look. Oh, good, he's honest. drinking out of the red solo cup. Is, <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, like, no. You, you, talk, you talk about no. the sign no. of an absolute bender. This guy just took a big swig out of a red solo cup after saying that he's not hungover. I don't get hangovers, Bob. You know this. I'm not hungover. I'm tired. I'm a little tired. I had a late night last night. I, I feel good. I'm ready to go. I'm up and ready. I'm going to crush this pod. Let me Man. ask you, Katsi. Do you think that I, and you could be honest with me, do you think that I oversell Nantucket or is Nantucket as magical of a place as I've spoken? No, it's 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 friggin' awesome. Um, this place is great, Bear Down. You, now, Bear, Bear Down would do very well here because, you you know, you can see for, like, miles. It's like, so Bear Down would stand out, like, with his height oh, and everything. Oh, very wow. well. Here. It's not a bad <laughs> thing, Bob. Will you stop so, laughing like I'm so trying to wait, say? Wait, 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 wait. So I would enjoy Nantucket because I'm tall. That's why I would enjoy Nantucket, because of my height. That's <laughs> I'm very interesting. That's I'm saying person. it's a very That's old a historical place. <laughs> A lot of the building stuff are smaller, <laughs> but like you can see, Bob, will you stop it? I'm not well, trying. I'm to... laughing. What's wrong with la- I'm laughing? Because you're trying to make it seem like I'm no, poking fun no, at Bear Down. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm saying... absolutely not. I'm just laughing. I find it funny. I think a man of, of Bear Down size would do very, very well for himself in more ways than one. It's actually, plus, by the way, Bob, the girls down here are absolutely stunning. I believe it. I believe. Yeah, they're real nice. They're yeah, real nice. The good looking girls. The food down here is great. That's I had myself fantastic. a two pound lobster yesterday, Saw which that. was one of my faves. The drawn butter. You, I, I will say this. The, 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 the boiled lobster with drawn butter. I, you're hard pressed to find a better meal than that. I, for, for me, if I'm going seafood, I started with the New England clam chowder and then the boiled lobster. And I'm just, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm having a date. And yesterday we did a beach day and I'm not a real beach guy, but we did like a five hour beach day and they do it right down here. You drive right on the beach. They have all the chairs. They have the, the little fold up tents. We didn't have the flags like Mikey V. So we weren't that good. But I mean, aside from that, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't think they'd allow it on Nantucket. I, I, I really don't. Hole, that, we had the cornhole going on. We that were, type of, football. that type of setup 
was one of the most New Jersey setups of all time to where I don't think Nantucket <laughs> would allow a lot of things that can fly on the Jersey shore. When I, I mean, the way, I mean, Bear Down took up half the fucking beach. That, that is, that, that is a, but that is a private beach that we were on. <laughs> that was, that's a private. So the complex that we stay in that area, that is solely for the residents of that complex. So that is a private beach. You have to wear a wristband, all of that. So for the price you pay, I mean, they're not going to tell us that you can't put fly the flags and put up a couple tents if you want to. Yeah, I I mean, but but Nan, Nantucket. The thing with Nantucket is these guys in Nantucket, they're all snowbirds. They are so out of touch with the normal society because they are so filthy rich, yeah. and they hang out with the so filthy rich that. They, they, are they not on just another planet, Joe? They don't you know. It's, know. Funny, Bob, it's like everybody's cloned. It's like yes. one prototype. Yeah, it's all the same person. Just a million different ver- variations. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen a Latino. I haven't seen, I think I've seen only like a couple black people down here. There's nobody. It's just all prototypical same person. And it's 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 pretty wild. It's, it's I don't know if I fit in. I bought a couple shirts that make me look like I fit in, but I, I don't know. I'm doing well down here. I feel like I'm. I'm crushing it a little bit, but it's it's a good time. Definitely a good time. That's got that's got to be one of the only Magic Johnson jerseys on the island. Yeah, I don't think I'll be wearing this out. I, I, I wore love it on the house, but I love it. That it's my favorite cutsy when that Magic Johnson jersey comes out. You, you know what I want to get? I want to get the Shaquille O'Neal, the Orlando Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Jersey. Oh yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's actually pretty fun. <laughs> the old school Magic home jersey. Um, yeah, that's nice. Now. Mikey V is th- this this move for Mikey V from house to house is still going on. Um, You're not moved in yet. He's Mikey not moved v? in yet. It, it, this is yeah. Been... I, I I I moved in. I I am no longer a resident of my old residence. I am officially in my new house. But I mean the house is in disarray. <laughs> right, I mean, there, there's Keith. just there's just a lot to, still to be done. I mean there's just a ton of work. I mean we did a full gut of like two floors. So. <laughs> But my people don't realize when when is this when is this moving truck gonna come? I'm at the point in this move to where I would I would say I'm getting restless. I haven't even moved. I'm I'm having anxiety (laughs) to where you know what I'm gonna do. Me and Joe are gonna send you a U-Haul. We're gonna send you some movers because I am sick of the move. You guys, the move is done. Everything we moved, so we moved literally. The moving guys moved all our stuff days before vacation. We dumped all our stuff in the new house. They weren't done painting yet. They're still painting our kitchen today. And we had to leave for vacation literally the very next day. So we dumped all our shit. It's in the garage. It's in the house. It's all oh, over the place. Do we we have left it? for vacation. We came back from vacation. We had to drop one kid with my mother, the other kid with her mother, because the kids can't come back to the house yet because it's in such disarray. Oh, so today, no. all I'm doing on my day off before I return to work, Tomorrow, all I'm doing today is literally trying to get everything as best in order as Do I can. The have... cable guy, the cable guy's going to be here any minute. I don't even yeah, know. That's... The cable guy's oh, going to be here. I can finally God. get a little Wi-Fi. I <laughs> mean, this is just, this is Mikey V, can I like hire you a task rabbit or something to help you out I today? Mean, or? Bro, it is brutal, bro. And, it and is by brutal. the way, do it we is have brutal. is Paul Cafone? Oh, do we have an update on the new man cave? Oh, is that almost on the way? Is split on the scene? The, I mean, the, the man cave. The man cave will be the estimated uh, finish time for the man cave is August one. Probably. <laughs> I'll be wrapped. August one. I mean, it's so ridiculous. Tell you, remember guys, this. Just just remember this. Into his gentlemen, house, yeah, gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. We got to be in. For I want you to remember football. this. As long as it's ready <laughs> oh, for that's college that, football. 100%. All right. And that's my, that's how, that's how I feel. As long as it's ready for week one college, or technically they call it week zero college. As long as it's ready for that first kick, I'm fine. But just remember this and remember it well. The old adage, Rome wasn't built in a day. Oh, Remember Christ. that. It's a Rome man wasn't cave. built it's in not a day. Florence, Italy. Oh, I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. Oh, I disagree. Down. Christ, you leave so this guy in the Coliseum. <laughs> this will be the Coliseum of northern New Jersey. Yeah. Rome now, wasn't can built you, in can, a day. It's a basement. Bear, now, can you give us a couple features that the new Bear Cave will yes. have? What can Because I'm very excited to know because I want to come visit for a game this, this year. I want to oh, kind of know what to expect. So you have a bar now? With, a full bar, a big, big bar. So there was a bar left in the house. <laughs> the previous owner had a big custom bar built. That's the only thing in the basement that we didn't touch. We just removed the countertop 
going to put some nice stone countertop on that. So there's going to be a big full service bar for you with the slop sink right underneath. You got your <laughs> whole setup there. The little refrigerator will be there for beverages. Another big refrigerator on the other side of the uh, the other side of the basement. Full washer dryer setup on the Which, other side. Which, by the way, bear down. We will make sure we get filled with Corona when we come. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever you want to fill with it. I mean, you fill it and then you got your summer kitchen on the other side of the basement. But the side that you're most concerned with, you're going to have uh, the TV. So I've been debating back and forth on what exact television, but I'm going to go with the OLED, uh, which gives the deepest blacks, the sharpest, deepest (laughs) blacks. I'm going to get the OLED hung, a big, big jumbo screen hung. Obviously, the seating arrangement will be nice. Dart board, poker table poker table all of that i mean it's going to be something special it's how going to be special. big is this basement it's about a thousand square feet the holy so shit the basement's the size of my apartment bob yeah you know what yeah, it's a big what? basement it's yeah big basement. that's okay. why it, that's why it's taken a while to get done i mean it's, you know, it's not, listen it's not like a it's not like a basement <laughs> like you see on like mtv cribs or something sounds like, like that. it well, it's don't put it past Bear Down, I tell you what. Yeah, I mean, I'll give you another line to remember from Jurassic <laughs> Park, Joseph. Remember this now. What what Dr. Uh, Hammond said, spared no expense. Remember that. Yeah, and you know what? I'll give you another expense. line. If you build it, they will come. That and is another, that's another good one. You know we what, Tim? Boards, so and he, you know, maybe we can charge admissions for this place to he, come see it. Sounds so damn cool. He's so excited about the basement. We're going to go over to his house. There's going to be nothing in the living room. There's going to be nothing upstairs. It's just <laughs> but gonna, that's fine because be we'll spend in. the whole time in the cave. And <laughs> Holly will be in disarray, but Gentlemen, we'll be ready for football season. That's for sure. Gentlemen, we got a big we 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 got a big one here today. Okay, I'm I'm excited for this because this is a young man. Really. Look, he's making it. He's quietly making his mark on the podcast right now. Now, for those who don't know, oh. Jet is overwhelmed with Bob does sports work. So we've 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 had a long. That's the understatement of the century. <laughs> yeah, like it was going to a point where Jet was just lashing out left and right when he was. I was concerned. He he just he needed a little bit of a break from the show. He's got a lot going on, so. In came the big ticket, who's one of our boys here, and um, he's, he's a done a reliever. tremendous job. Yeah, he's, he, he really has. He's done a tremendous job. Now, something came arise, and I, Joe, I think it was between you and Ticket how it started. It, it, a hot dog challenge we're looking at here today. Um, so I, random. It's so random, to be honest, because I guess there was a 4th of July, and, and, and Ticket's never talked about being a big eater or that he could do ch- food challenges or anything like that. And all of a sudden he just comes out and says, I'm going to eat 10 hot dogs in 10, in 10 minutes. I'm like, I'm like, and I had to chime in because Bob, I still have PTSD from our freaking right. nine hot dog challenge where we chuffed yeah. our freaking brains out. And, and, and bottom line is, is I think that people on, are, are, you know, they don't take this challenge seriously enough. Now, bear down, you agree eating 10 hot dogs, a, a hot dog a minute it's not an easy feat and people just think it's like, Oh, it's no problem. But like the ramifications it has on your body and like how difficult to do it. It's not, it, it's not something to be taken lightly. So I just said to take it. I said, you know, I don't think you could do that. I think you should set a more realistic goal, do six hot dogs in 10 minutes. And then anything you do past that is, is a bonus. So he took it very personally. He got very, you know, awry and, and, and now he wants to do it live and, and, Listen, I'm rooting for the guy. I really am. I hope he does well, it, but he was even going to do it. He was even going to do it just off air. I said, first of all, no, 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 no. I said, I want to see it with my own eyes. That's it. That's one of the most lud- yeah, ludicrous things I think I've ever <laughs> seen, even just between us. So I said, fuck that. Let's do it on the podcast. But I <laughs> think what the total is, and we talked about it a little on the podcast. Last week, I think it was eight hot dogs in 10 minutes. Is you want to do more. Going. He wanted to do more, so he wanted to do nine. Let's let's bring Ticket and Bear down. Your thoughts on because I think the again people think of the hot dog challenge. They see Joey Chestnut. Not that they think that they could do Joey Chestnut numbers. You they almost feel like they they do. And when me and Cutsy did it again, the brioche bun mm-hmm. for us was a big thing. The brioche bun changes. Everything. Well, we also had those. Uh, those. those things- I was uh, yeah. Those dogs that you guys were eating were like were like canoes. They were like big. <laughs> Big old meaty suckers. And that, that, I think that's the whole key here. What kind of hot dog? Is he going to be eating just straight, like, dirty water dogs? Traditional, like, very, like, cafeteria bought. Yeah, like the dogs. Oscar Mayer wieners. Yeah, I but think. the yeah, only thing yeah, that I'll say yeah. is, even if it is the dirty water dog. The buns, he's still. 
with the bun. Yeah, and by the way, for 10 minutes, is I he mean, going to dunk the bun into the water? Like yeah, some like Kobayashi thing? style. I don't know what so he's bring got. Him in. Should we bring him in now? Yeah, let's so bring just, him in. Let's bring him in. Let's he's... bring in the ticket. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a nice warm round introduction. <laughs> a nice applause. This man has been working behind the scenes time and time again, week after week. We would like to introduce you to the Philly <laughs> name. That is the big ticket. Coming in hot here. He's gonna have to connect to the um to the visual oh, there, ticket. You'll well, we might have there. a problem with the hot dogs if he can't even connect with the visual. Yeah, now uh, again, <laughs> a lot going around the hot dog as far as what hot dogs are gonna what, what's fascinating to me. I think a lot of times with these hot dog challenges, or even when me and Joe there he, is. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> warm round of applause for the ticket. What a great right shirt. What a great <laughs> shirt. <laughs> this is the man who's ready and prepared. He was probably up at 5 a.m. this morning just putting his reps in. Dude, I will say about the ticket and the jet, like if you give them something like a rowback, like if you get a big box or something, like they appreciate the living hell out of that. And you're yes. going to see them in it time and time again. Big ticket. Welcome to the program here, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Mikey V. First time, long time. Really excited to be here. Now, ticket. Dick, let me, Dick. It's not a radio <laughs> call in here, Dick. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Dick, let me ask you something, okay? Because you something that Ticket was worried about is that he would be called out by Bear Down in regards to the Thumans. He thought that Bear Down was going to want the Thumans hot dog, which me and Joe still have no idea what the Thumans hot dog is. Um, ticket, what type of dogs are we working with here today? We're going to be working with. MLE regulation, Nathan's dogs and buns. I mean, it's what Joey puts down. It's what I'm going to put down. I, I have no qualms about it. Okay, and then ticket. What was the total regular? <laughs> so, by the way, no, it's one of the most absurd ticket, things ahead, we've ever done. Ticket, ticket, ticket. For our casual, for our casual listeners, can we get the full uh, the acronym breakdown for MLE, please? It's we Major can? League Eating. That is. <laughs> Every okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's regulation. It's regulation. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Ticket kept putting into the group chat his DPM, and I was like, what the fuck is his DPM? He's been training for this. Dogs per minute. Dogs per minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looking for one point five DPMs. <laughs> One and a half DPM? No, One and a half DPMs. Do we all agree? I, I again, it's I really regulation. Want to do it, by the way. We do. We absolutely do. We are all on the same page that we're okay with the, with the Nathan's hot dog. To me, I think that's more. Yeah, I, yeah no, that's I, fine. Yeah, I, I have no issue with that at all. Now, ticket. What what is our what's our number right our now goal. that we agreed on? Well, Joe told me I couldn't eat more than eight, so my number is eight. I want to get over eight. I want to see myself, but I also believe I can reach that one point five DPM. So I want to see me put down at least 12 dogs in 10 minutes. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 geez. Dick well, how many do you have there? <laughs> Got the water here. They're going to be going down. It's going to be beautiful. <laughs> It's going to be a stretch, though. It's going to be a stretch. 10 a.m., you cannot say that's the optimal time, but I'm not about excuses. I'm here to eat some dogs and prove some people wrong. <laughs> wow. I mean, this guy's entry. got his game face what on hold. An yeah, and he was, by the way, he was, we, we mentioned it on the last podcast. All of a sudden, we started getting videos from Ticket in our group chat of just him in his backyard just fucking stuffing. Him down. <laughs> yeah. Now, what, what method? Do you have a method? What's the method you're using? Well, I'm going to begin with the Dunkin' Dive. That's where that's where I'm going to speak about it. I like to start there. But when I get to about six, seven, I'm going to switch over to the Solomon technique. What's and if this? need be, if need be, I will go to Divide and Conquer. I will end oh, up well, well, I what is, well, what is Solomon and what is Divide and Conquer? <laughs> so divide, and conquer you know, divide and Conquer has got to be when you take the dog off the bun, right? Take it and you go separately. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> right. That's exactly this is correct. unbelievable. Exactly correct. Wait, but what's Solomon? The Solomon is where you remove two dogs from the buns. You take them, you snap them in half. <laughs> And you just soak them down, and then you take the bun and you dip it in the water and you put it in a little ball and it just slides. <laughs> <out>. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, this guy's done his yeah. research. I, I, yeah, and yeah. I'm hearing this. I'm yeah. thinking, you're going to need more than 10 minutes. There, there's, he's got too many tactics going on. <laughs> to just... Now, okay, so Mikey V, let me ask Do you we something. have a timer, Bob? Yeah, I'm going to get the timer going. <laughs> I, I want to ask you, Mikey V. I mean, it sounds like our number is eight. If he's shooting for 12, 
just from what you've heard from a confidence mm. standpoint, if you were Westgate Sportsbook, okay, mm. what yeah. what's your line at ticket right now? Ten minutes, and and I want the followers to really Four get prize picks over under. There we go. And by the yeah, way, I got Joe, the over under. By the way, did you know that you could go to Prize Picks today? Mm. And type in the boys. That's the promo boys. code. The boys <laughs> is gonna get you a free hundred dollars. Mikey V's rocking the merch right now. Gear up for football season. We're slowly taking some stabs at bets now to build that balance up for football season. Yes. And pass the baton to Mikey V for football season. <clears throat> Prize picks. The boys is gonna be your promo code. Let's bet together. Let's enjoy sports wagering together. Um, now, I want people to put in the comments, Mikey V is going to give the line. I, I, again, Ticket, you went <laughs> high with that 12, so I do want to shoot it over to Mikey V for what you think the line would be. And then I want people to put down into the comments what they like over, under, before it starts. With that being said, Mikey V, I want to head on over to you. Well, I put on the hat for the Brett Musburger, uh, <laughs> the Brett Musburger fedora. You are looking live, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, looking live. Um, looks like I would the say, guy, yeah. here's, here's the thing. I originally had a number in mind for the over-under, but given tickets confidence, yep. oh, I, yeah. think the li- I think the line now and the training and the sheer knowledge, <laughs> the insight. The, the encyclopedia level <laughs> knowledge of hot dog eating that ticket has obviously displayed to everyone here. I don't think there's any question about that. I think the line now has to be set at over under nine and a half dogs. In Whoa! 10 I swear to you, that was going to be because the way he hyped up, he banged, him, <laughs> he banged himself by we were going to get him like the eight dog. He totally banged himself. He should have like, wow. gone lower than he totally. would, would expected. So everything would have been feel disrespected, but I'll, I'll play ball. Whoa! <laughs> you know, you know what, you know what ticket is like now? He's like McGregor when he walks into the UFC <laughs> ring like this yeah. with his arms flailing. Right. By the way, by got the some way, big great, dick energy great guy, going right Connor now, Bob. McGregor. Connor Chris McGregor. Is a great guy. Oh, great so guy. Stop with, to be with, stop that, with that bear now. Till this day, Joe. Time. Joe, if I ask you the two worst takes in brilliantly dumb show history, what are those two takes? Uh, well, Connor Mc, Con- Connor McGregor's got to be the first one, and then bubblegum ice cream. Bubble gum ice cream. Will you stop with the bubblegum ice cream? You know what, what? What would you say is the two worst takes, Bob? To be honest with you, I was going to say bear down having Conor McGregor top five uh, most likely that you would let your sister date. And then I was going to go with his McDonald's one after burying them and then two items. Yeah, he five. took McDonald's as a worst. Yeah. Does everyone worst. forget Rafiki though? Rafiki? Rafiki was horrible. Top that five wrestlers. That was top, well, yeah, but we knew that one. Yeah, we knew that one. <laughs> Where this was going to backfire was the Venicini is is... I mean, not yeah. that that was yeah, a take, but Cheney. yeah, that's yeah. tough. There's been to some bad from. takes. So I think let's, let's, let's get ready to move for the main on. event. No, yeah, yeah, perfect. I'm ready. I don't want to take it to like. I don't want to build up the anticipation anymore. Now, now, take it. How many dogs you have there total? We have twelve here, but we have we have thirteen here. But I've got bigger ticket over here, ready to go down, make some more dogs. You uh, think that you? you could do more than thirteen? <laughs> oh I don't. That's why there's thirteen here. So well, if, if I'm roll, if I'm rolling. He's ready to go down. I hope you break up the sound barrier here. So bigger ticket, bigger ticket is the father of big ticket, big fan of the program. So shout out bigger ticket. What bigger ticket gonna have to do? If he starts seeing him mow these down, I guess he's gonna have to put a dog on the grill. Like a handoff. But here's the deal. It's (laughs) nine and a half was the line that Mikey set. Um, We're going to go on Mikey V's go. And folks, put into the comments, do you like the over? Do you like the under? Giuseppe D's got something to say here. I just want to know, are you taking the over or under, Bob? And then Mikey V, what are you taking? (laughs) With the confidence that Mm. I saw, I I am taking the over. I think he gets 10 on the dot. Mikey? Yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah, I I, I have to go over. I mean, he's got 13 dogs plated with more in reserve. I mean... I, I'm gonna have to go over. Maybe the I'm gonna go under. I'm gonna yeah. go nine dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is this is sheer motivation to help propel him to do better. But I'm gonna go with the under. You guys have the over. Where's the timer, Bob? We need. I, I got the timer right here. It's Can gonna be on my phone. The, 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 the people. Yeah. I'm going to be showing it right now for the audio mm. listeners. I'm going to try and do a, a good play by play commentary. Here. Yeah. Just to put that out there. If mm. ticket has 13 dogs ready and he puts up like a six spot in 10 minutes. Bad oh, luck. we're going to bury him. That's a bad look. 
Mikey's gonna, 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 gonna go. He's gonna have to change his his name to Small Ticket. Ticket, I'm sorry not to nitpick here. Can you just point the camera down just a little bit I so we see can those see dogs. the dogs? Yeah, just fair, a little fair. bit. There we yeah, go. There we go. That's perfect. That's, that's perfect. perfect. Okay, Mikey V, we are gonna go on your go here. This is the Brilliantly Dumb Show <laughs> Tuesday after Tuesday, ten in the morning. Big ticket. As many dogs as he can do, Mikey V will take it to you. Ticket, it's going to be a three, two, one, go. Okay, not three, two, one, start. Three, two, one, go, and then you start. Okay, ready. Three, two, one, go. Ladies and gentlemen, he is oh. out of the gates here, and he's going with the dip and dunk. Now, oh, my God, dude. dude he's going he to choke himself. He is this. really – He, I mean, here's the deal. He is – and, folks, we will keep you updated. He has been tri- – this is his Super Bowl. There's no doubt about it. He's – He's. I think you could say he's one dog in already. There's that one down. Crazy. How do you feel oh, about how many how seconds quick- are we in right now? That's yes. one down already. One down, 22 seconds. Whoa. <laughs> now, the problem is I think sometimes you go too fast too early yep. and you don't, you know, you, you overdo <laughs> it. Like you have to pace yourself throughout a, a competition of such rigorous a state as this. Now, now I worry about the <laughs> – he wants to do a dog. He's about to put down number two. He's 45 seconds in and two – his goal was 1.5 DPMs, and right now – he could try, I worry about the DPM. We're still on dog two. We're still on dog two. We're still on dog, dog two, two. But, but if he gets two, two per minute, then in 10 minutes, he could do well over 30. I just, dog, but two I agree with, dog, dog, dog two is down. Dog two is down. We're in one minute. One minute. One minute dog oh two is down. But God, I agree with what is... you said, Joe. Minute six to do two dogs, but he's really off to a great pace. Dog well, that's three. great. But, Bob, you know when we did the hot dog challenge, when you get to five, six, seven dogs, that's the turning point. That's the turning of the tide. That's when you have to dig deep. You have to really, like, summon. But, whoa, he is throttling that thing down his throat. Dog that three is almost pretty done. impressive from the ticket. He's jumping around now. Little little back and forth action here. He looks like Rocky in the ring. But I'll tell you what, his his biceps ticket. I know you can't comment right now, but he looks good, dude. He looks really really good. He did he roll up the he's sleeves three, on he's the three, Yeah, he's solo? three dogs down now. Oh, he's doing the the, the Solomon method now. He's he down. is going to the Solomon method. He's three, Tickets he's, going. Holy he's going sh- early to the Solomon <laughs> method. Now we thought the Solomon method was going to come around dog five six. He's on to the Solomon method at three here. Well, no, he's done three now. This would be two more. This would put him at five. Wow, this would put him at five, and he's just at two minutes now. He's got to do these two buns. Oh, now he's broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Mikey, those, those are gonna, those are gonna, gonna sit. Those are gonna, sit in, those are gonna, those buns are gonna sit in his stomach like two oh. clay balls. <laughs> well, we can't think about that now. We can't. We get all positive energy here, Mikey. <laughs> we want now. We are two minutes twenty seconds in, and this is dog number four. That he's at well, no, right four here. and five. He's finishing four and oh, five. That's the Solomon. That's method. the Solomon Ooh. method. Now I think he's yeah. He this is the second half of the bun. Now this would put him at five. He's wow. at two and a half minutes. He is really <laughs> off to a very good start. Come on, wow. ticket, keep going. Come on, tick. Like at this rate now, I really want him to do more than Mikey thirteen v. almost now. Yeah. Like I really, I'm getting excited. What are you seeing here, Mikey V? I thought I saw a little regurgitation. <laughs> a little, a little regurgitation. A little burp up. I, got through it he got through it he powered through. the rolled up the rolled up rollback sleeves could be the difference here. yeah yeah could and i'll tell you this man it, i i will say we take it first off i asked him to do this at 10 in the morning and he's splitting another dog yeah, yeah, ticket is really seven now bro three minutes in and seven he has been you can't say that this guy has <laughs> not put in the time not just to the brilliantly dumb show but then for this like dude it, he's been getting ready kind of in silence like yeah he sent us the yeah. prep videos him and bigger ticket have been absolutely going out. And I know bigger tickets in attendance, but I do want to let the folks know big ticket got his name. He was a West Virginia. <laughs> um, what he was attending West Virginia university and he used to stand outside of the football stadium and sell pot. If you wanted a ticket to the game, <laughs> you would ask for a ticket. But if you wanted weed, you would ask for a big ticket. And that's how he would know that you wanted weed. So, shout out Mountaineers. What are we on here, Joey? Six and seven. Six and seven. Now oh he's putting the buns God. down. Six I and seven. We're less than four minutes. I mean, he this is like, really. This is unbelievable. He looks like he looks like a big barnyard rooster. <laughs> He really, I tell you, he's really. Oh, he's getting loud. He's starting to laugh at that comment. Dude, we can't. He's at- he, it's at four minutes. How many dogs? Is this seven? This is seven. If he finishes this, I mean, he's going to he's blow gonna fly it. over. Yeah, fly he's fly over at this point. I mean, but I just worry about he might have a little lapse. Like he's yeah. got to stay. <laughs> 
He's got to stay the course. He really has time. to. The bonds is what gets you, Mikey B. You're absolutely right. They they accumulate, and it feels like you have like this hollow stomach that's been filled with a crater. It's just, it's not good. Yeah, I mean, me and Joe, I think, I mean, for me, it was like dog four or five where I'm like, this is going to oh. be a big, big problem. Oh, he's feeling it now. Yeah, it's, he's starting to right, feel it. I mean, he's right starting to slow down, but he's sitting up here. The buns are sitting in the esophagus. Right yeah, here. but he's got some time to work with. He's still he's got, got a lot five of time. minutes. He's got a lot of time. And he's at seven dogs now. He's going eight and nine right now with the Solomon method now. With the Solomon method, by the way, if he could get that two dogs per minute on this minute right here, <laughs> he could cruise. I wanted to do number. 13 dogs. I, I think it would be a great showing for the Brimley Dumb show. It'd be a real shoot. groundbreaking moment. I don't think you're getting. No, what, what, what if he does the, thir the 13? Is his dad got the, the hot dogs ready on standby? I think, to give I think bigger I tickets lot. ready to go. But you know what, though? It's starting to I hit right now. He's at 520. Yeah, he's starting to slow eight, down. The Solomon <laughs> method. Why, looks, go ahead, Mikey V. It looks like a hay barrel got put underneath his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> his shirt just gets you it's, it really it's I becoming the you, Hulk. Man, I, I'm impressed. I'm this is eight kidding. and nine. Oh, whoa, he just took a huge chug of water there. Wow. Eight and nine, eight and nine. He's got to do the buns now, I think, still to finish eight and nine. But I tell you what, I, eight and nine, I mean, he's he's not even at six minutes here, Bob. It's unbelievable. I mean, look, he was ready to go for this. We got to do, if he hits that over there's something that we got i mean do. we should give him maybe like a little segment for the next week or something something because this is wildly impressive ladies and gentlemen he's on is this eight now eight, 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 eight and nine with the solomon method here now I, I i i mean he's at six minutes he's going buns now he's really digging deep this here. is crazy. I, I i wish like the audio listeners could be watching this because he's really I mean, he's just the commitment from the young man is 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 unprecedented. Mikey V, are you surprised at what you're seeing right now? <laughs> I'm not, I mean, he, the man came in with a lot of confidence. He and, did. You know, confidence is the mark of the champion. So uh, that's really something different there. His lats, I could see his lats exploding. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so those dogs are just finding their way into every orifice of his body. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're just trying to make space. By the way, he is another thing we didn't mention. Ticket is moving from South Carolina to Los Angeles tomorrow. <laughs> so whoever is on that plane ride, who's ever in that row with him tomorrow, get the emergency exit row for oh ticket my for the love of God. God. That's okay, we're at, be an awful where are we at, Bob? We're at seven minutes. This is his eighth and ninth dog are officially down the hatch. He's can we got, get an official? Can we get an official confirmation from Ticket that we got eight or nine down? Eight and nine, eight, eight and nine done. He's got four dogs left there. I've yeah, been eight, nine. The hawk. eight and nine. Those eight and nine. <laughs> <laughs> this you is know, where the digging deep really yeah, comes into play yeah, here. Here's the over. Here's the here's the over with about two minutes and change left to come. Oh yeah, the over. He's not looking. there yet. I'll tell you. Oh, and if he pukes, by the way, Bob. If he pukes, it's a it's a pukes. It's over. Pukes is immediate DQ. Immediate DQ. Now I'll tell you this: the Solomon method is oh, one that oh, he's, he's about to rip. He's he's struggling. Rip <laughs> yeah, 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 those, <laughs> this is where it really gets dicey here. For Bob, you right audio now. listeners out there, we're approaching eight minutes, so we'll give him two cool. minutes left. It is cool. a fucking and an eleven grind right now. And like Bear Down said, those Franks are finding every single open <laughs> spot in his body. Right now. He every started crevice. off looking shredded. Now, I mean, those dogs are, you see these dogs piling in and he's really good. We're on, this could be 10 here. 10, 10 and 11, Bob, 10 and 10, wow. 10 and 11. Come on, he's got to do the buns. He's got to do the buns. I want that, him to do the 13. Come on, Tick. Give us that one this is where you dig deep. deep. This is where you separate the men from the boys here, Dick, right now. He is hey, did he go? He went Solomon method. There? He's when doing he's Solomon. He's still doing Solomon. He's been going Solomon okay. method for a while here. Yeah. Now he's gonna have. He's gonna finish these. He's probably gonna have about a minute, a minute and a half left to do the last two dogs, which would put him at thirteen. Which to me oh, would be he's gonna a have a massive he's, success. He's gonna have He's no, gonna have he's, less than a minute. He's gonna have less than yeah, a minute. He's gotta put these two buns down, down yeah, very these fast. Buns are go. These, these buns, buns are gotta go. He's got to go down if he wants to do the thirteen. I mean, I. I <laughs> 
Oh, he's struggling. He's oh, hurting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? What was that? What was that? that? What was that? Was we will get confirmation prior, but 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 I do believe that was bread. Was I that do, throw up? Bob? I don't I, it was bread. we're gonna have to check it was bread. It was bread. I, I, do I, I do think okay. it was bread. Focus, okay. okay. Dick. You have you have 46 it's, seconds for the rest of your life here, ticket. What's our number? 46 at right seconds. Now? He's at eleven. He's know. putting eleven down right now. He's got two dogs left. This is the bun for the eleventh. He's gonna have Come on, yes. ticket! You no, gotta on, do take, this. You gotta dig. Give me at least out. one more dog. Get me to twelve, ticket. You gotta me to really 12. dig. You gotta He's got really 32 dig. Seconds, Thirty seconds left, ticket. Come on! Holy oh, I don't shit, know if we're ladies gonna get twelve. And I don't can, know if we're gonna get twelve. You can cash the over. The over is on cash. The over's good. Over's good. Come it's on, ticket! You got one more hot dog. Fifteen seconds. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. You got fifteen seconds. I think that's all. She I wrote think right that's there. all we wrote. Yeah, I that's going to be eleven yeah. dogs. You know you know spare them, spare them, spare them, ladies solid. and gentlemen. Solid, give it up for the big ticket. Now let me see the swallow. Let me see the swallow. You talk about. That's what she said, folks. You talk, <laughs> you talk about laying it all. That's what the brilliantly dumb show is about. All right, ticket. There it is. Hey, eleven here, dogs. Happy to be here. Ticket. 11 dogs in 10 minutes. How do you feel right now? Not good. <laughs> yeah, that's Not good. That's My lead regulation is I got to keep this sucker down for at least 30 minutes. And then you will see some refunding on my end. Just now, out of health reasons, sodium, it's, it's got to come out. <laughs> in all honesty, you're, do you, are you working your other job right now? Like, are you on the clock? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Normally, yeah. take a break around one o'clock. Had to take it real early. They were concerned. I'm a bit concerned for myself right now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you talk about keep in mind, folks. This is ten in the morning East Coast oh, time right yeah. now, which yeah, just yeah, sounds. Impressive. So let's give one round, last uh, round of applause. Well done, ticket. We're proud of you. Hey, Very you proud. Of you. Thanks for having me. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this before ticket leaves. And I wasn't going to say it when it happened, but if this was a real, if I was like working the DraftKings board or, you know, the prize picks board or any board, the live odds would have went up to 10 and a half. Once he showed that play to 13 dogs with dogs in reserve yes. live line would have went up to 10 and a half because the confidence in this man, I, he was mowing these dogs down, but I tell you what, as quickly as he got through eight, that brick wall, once it hits you, man, that yeah. brick wall. Really did. Also, it's the buns. It it's the buns. Keep in the buns mind, he's got a Detroit Lions hat on, and <laughs> and anybody who comes in with a Lions hat on is ready Real to dog. dogs. Yeah, that, that, behind. That's, 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 behind, baby. Come back, kids. Ticket. Uh, just you've been doing sensational work on the podcast. Sensational work to the hot dogs. Now enjoy the rest of your day. It'll be a rough flight tomorrow, but that's neither here nor there because we're focused on today. Thanks, Bobby boy. Thanks Good for having you. me. Thanks, Mikey V. Thanks, Joe. And I will see you guys at the airport tomorrow. Love you, Tick. <laughs> You're the best, Ticket. <laughs> do, do you believe this guy? One of the most preposterous things I've ever watched. And he, should fly, he should be flown out first class for that. I, You know what? I would be willing for that's content. That's a write off as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's business. That's, that is a business expense if I've ever heard. <laughs> Big ticket. I hope the folks on the audio could still enjoy that. I highly recommend going over to the YouTube uh, to check that out. Mikey V, for, for how confident he was, okay, mind you, it, that was impressive, but that's what my number would have been. I would have put it at nine and a half on the dot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, live odds. I think though, if if we're really talking like sick degenerate gambling, and the live odds, I swear to God, the line would have moved one more dog up when he showed the play to thirteen dogs, because that to me told me that this guy there was there was no way he. I mean, he would have been extremely embarrassed had he fallen five dogs short. So yeah. I think that move pushed that line, and then if we had it at ten and a half, I mean, we would have been right on the button. He barely finished the level. No. And also, too, the different methods that he said he was going to use, oh he had a, he had a plan. It was calculated. And yeah, it really <laughs> was, and he attacked it accordingly. Folks, we need to interrupt the Real and the Dumb show to let you know about the one, the only, the AG1. Coming out of the boys and girls from Athletic Greens, you talk about something that I'm taking every goddamn day. You're talking about AG1 from Athletic Greens. Pop AG1 into a strawberry banana smoothie every morning the way that Bob does, and then you could go ahead and thank me later. With one delicious scoop, 
of athletic greens, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, and more. Start the day right. It gives me a little bit of a pep to my step, keeps me healthy, keeps me clean, and most importantly for me, supports gut health. With the way that I eat, Lord knows that I need it. AG1 as well is a small micro habit with big benefits. It's one thing you can do every single day to take great care of yourself. Your subscription with Athletic Greens comes with a year supply of vitamin D, which is so important to add in these winter months or even southern months where we get some sunlight and we don't get as much sunlight. Regardless of when you're taking it, rain, shine, or snow, Athletic Greens is a no-brainer. Now, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash dumb to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. You heard it here first. Pop their AG1 into a strawberry banana smoothie five, six days a week. You can thank me later. I, I do want to get into our top five. Before anything, I wanted to ask, I wanted to ask it last week because – um, to me, these guys just don't drop the ball. And it seems like you, there was a little bit of an issue for Mikey V. Mikey V, did you have a um, issue with your Wendy's chicken sandwich last week? Oh, did yeah. I see that right? I meant to mention oh, that last because that's shocking. Wendy's, me. you don't you don't have issues with Wendy's. Wendy's I've, is, gone, um, I've gone back-to-back orders of spicy chicken sandwiches at Wendy's. And this patty, this chicken patty was an absolute – both times, two different Wendy's locations. Mind you, no two different locations. way. The, the patty was this, it was paper thin. I mean, I put it up because it was so embarrassing. It was like a fried piece of like, I re, it reminded me of like a cafeteria chicken patty. It's very sad to say. I hope they're not going to get like McDonald's and they're going to start resting on their laurels. And they think just because of who they are, they could just start pushing out. Wendy they- is consistent. She's the model of consistency. Yeah. I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree. The most well-rounded fast food establishment in America, by my estimation. However, <laughs> the chicken patty of the spicy chicken sandwich, I think it's fallen behind uh, the chickings of the world, the Chick-fil-A's of the world, the Popeye's of the world. I don't think they're on that thick patty level. I don't Joe, think so. I, I think uh, they're I dated. Know, they dated I, themselves. I know you got something to say. I got something to say in regards to this too. I'll let you go ahead. I'm just, I was just going to say, I hope this isn't another shameless plug where he can then talk about the chicane. No, no, I really, no. I really, I hope it's Could not be because that up. would be, you know, Wendy should not suffer at anyone yeah, else's Bob, expense. Bob come, Bob, come to my aid here. You saw the picture I put up, obviously. That was a pathetic patty. Was it not a pathetic patty? No, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, Mikey V. I, I do think that you are so used to the chicane and that overly you know, 1200 calorie chicken sandwich yeah, to where everybody can handle that. I do think that, I do think that your judgment is a little bit clouded on the chicken sandwiches now. Okay. Because forget you're so- the chicken. Forget the chicken. You're a Chick-fil-A guy, Bob. Compare the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich to that patty that you saw the picture of. Well, well Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, is the best. Chick-fil-A is the number one chicken sandwich. So no, I mean, you can't, you can't compare it. Now I will say, okay. I got Wendy's as my number two for fast food overall, but, but no, I, I'm not going to compare chicken fillet, uh, Chick-fil-A and, and, and Wendy's, but, but I do think that your judgment uh, on, on any chicken sandwich is a little bit clouded by the chicken. I think the chicken changed you. I really do. It did. Oh, okay. I really it was the first the time that he had a, the, a change me for the better. Change me for the better. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, uh, Burger King, if you're listening, uh, we would have loved <laughs> I have no interest. I have Mike no TV. interest. No, 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 no. I just you telling me you would turn down a sponsorship with Burger King? No, no of way. course I'm not saying I would turn it down. However, oh, all I'm saying not. is when I need a chicken sandwich that's gonna satisfy me, I'm not gonna I, I might not go to Wendy's anymore. That's what I'm saying. See, I, can I make a statement? I, I wouldn't go to Wendy's for a chicken sandwich. I would okay. go to Wendy's for their burgers. They're so good. Like, the you burger, get the four burger, pounder and the burgers never miss. They, 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 so it's like, burgers. it's like never. if I want a chicken sandwich, I'd probably go to like Popeyes or, or Chick fil A to get a chicken sandwich. And well, you stick I like with to what get a they. Chicken. Fair enough. Fair. I, right. Listen, you're, you're merited in your, in your I argument. Think, I think the move now will be the double, the double classic with cheese that's a great a a small order a small order of the nuggets perhaps and And then the frosty the small chocolate frosty obviously to dunk the fries you didn't like the frosty too bob wasn't the the strawberry strawberry, the strawberry 
frosty sucked. It was hard. What it tastes like Pepto Bismol or what? It tasted like a watered down soft serve ice cream. It tasted like a watered down soft serve ice cream. I like I, soft serve ice cream, but it tasted watered down. I it think wasn't the, good. I, if you're going to go frosty, you go chocolate and you don't turn. Yes. Back. You, 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 you stay there and, and you, yep. you really don't change. That's right. There's no That's need right. to change. Well, that. the peppermint one they had was really good. No, that was, uh, oh, that was, McDonald's. That was McDonald's. That was McDonald's. That was, wasn't that Chick-fil-A? No, it was Chick-fil-A. Mc- Chick Fil A yeah. had the peppermint, like the and special winter peppermint, which was f- fucking fantastic, delicious, delicious. <laughs> okay. Coming from a guy who knows mint, delicious. All right, boys. Well, again, to be determined on the on the. What I do want to start doing, though, by the way, like Arby's came out with a Wagyu hamburger. I think we ought to start reviewing this stuff on the show. Social media. Or on the show? On the, on the show. I like doing it on the show. I like, you know, when we did the Chick King on the show, I, I found that fascinating. I mean, I love that stuff. Maybe it's just me. You're talking to the same guy who has a, a Rayo shirt on um, right now. So that stuff is uh, I'm into. That but shirt, that shirt. It's the best shirt. I mean, the things we did to get this shirt. <laughs> did you see Aaron Judge and the Yankees sitting at our Rayo's table? At, by at the same table that we were at. The exact sure table. I tell sure you, man. Did. That that to me will go down as one of God bless the, diamonds. Just just one of the most special dinners of all time. No question. That was it was a special night for a special group of young men. I tell you sure. what, that night um, will go on undefeated for a long time. It really will. Yeah. It really we got to make Bob. Uh, I'm just going to throw it out there. We got to make another New York trip in the next few months. When it's it's got to happen. Yankees the Audi club off. needs it. The, you know, well, I think we York said, I think it. we said Yankees, a Yankees playoff game. And then I think right, Bob, we said Jets bears at MetLife, mm-hmm. I believe. No, uh, the, the thing, did well, I say that? Because you know what, to be honest with you. He doesn't like going to football games. It's the, the most okay, that's fine. thing. The, the last fine. thing I, I mean, I will do, be there. I'll be there. But The, the last thing I want to do on a Sunday is spend it at MetLife when you could be on the couch, you could be in the cave, you could have that's, the red zone. I mean, we've talked about this. It's that's true. Yeah, But to watch your team, though, Bob, is special. And watch them at, at, at home. I, I don't need to be there. You know what? Jet fans are miserable. We're all miserable. The franchise is miserable. You don't want to sit in misery. You want to be able to flip the channel now, and go back to misery. If I was a local fan, if I was a Giant or Jets fan and I could go every week, that would be my exact mentality. I would never leave my house to go to a game unless it was like a game for the division or a playoff game. Yes. That's a different story. But when a team – I root for an out-of-market team, obviously. So when they come into town – You have to go. Few and far between. I, I almost feel obligated that I have to go. Your you know fandom I mean? requires you to be there to cheer them on. One would. Yeah, I agree. I mine, agree. And mine the fact doesn't. that I'll, they got I'll two games, they got two games there this year. They got the Giants and the Jets. Thank you. Got, this year. You want to you want to go to Soldier Field? You got your basement. Your basement pretty much is Soldier Field. <laughs> you, you, it's you probably have, better. It's probably better. Probably. At the bar now, it probably is. Probably. Yeah. Um, all right, boys. Well, without further ado, let's um let's get into our top five. Mm. Now we got an interesting top five coming here today. Today's top five, we are going to be doing top five French fries. I don't think it gets talked about enough that there's so many different cuts of fries out there, um, and I I think it needs to be discussed. I think you got to have the dialogue. This is going to be top five french fries giuseppe d looks ready to rock and roll so Cutsy, we will start with you uh take it away big fella all right um i'm gonna go all right i haven't listed these okay here we go so number five give me um give me number five give me a curly fries all right i think um these are the you you see these less and less nowadays but i think when done right they're actually quite enjoyable i loved them as a kid um, and, and they're good texture, good, t- they have to be done right. But when they're done right, they're very enjoyable. Number five, I'll take the curly fries at number, at number four, give me sweet potato fries. All right. I think sweet potato fries or yam fries. Some people would call them, whatever you want to call them are very, no. very. No, what? Uh, nobody, yeah, call, I, nobody, I, nobody, nobody in, in the Canada world for my fries. Canadian listeners. We call them yam fries. Sorry. Do they Sorry, call sorry, them sorry. yam fries? Yes. That's so horrible. If you, That's horrible. If you go, okay. if you go to Canada, they call them yam fries. Okay. Um, so sweet potato fries, yam fries, whatever you want to call them. I think this is a nice change up. Makes you feel like, you know, if you get a big burger and then you go with the yam, yam fries or sweet potato <laughs> fries, it's a little sweet. Makes you feel a little bit better about yourself than doing the actual regular French fry. I think it's really tasty. All right. And number three, here's where it gets a little interesting here. Number three, I'm going to go with home fries. 
I think that home fries are really, wow. really good. And, wow. um, you know, I, I, I kind of went back and forth between home fries and steak fries, but I think the home fry for me is the right play. Hold so, on. I, I, I got I to gotta interject here. I got to interject here. Yeah. Are, Why are do you got to interject? Are we allowing home fry? Now that for it's me, that, that, changes, a fry. that changes Bob's entire. It's totally, fry, totally. To me, it's literally called a fry, Bob. What are you, what are you talking about? Yeah. The name is home fries. They're I potatoes. Don't. That are that's, tough. A big, that's a big rule. Do not that's allow that. Like, what would prevent you from enabling that onto the list? Look, Joe, I'd love it on my list. Okay, I I would absolutely love it. All right. Mm. So I I know you're upset. I'll be up. I mean, I I got to figure it out too. Bear down. What do you think the ruling is here? Uh, listen to me. Home fries is like a potato side, but. Uh, it does say fries in the name, and I think it's an interesting take on it, an interesting twist. I think it's a curveball that Joe threw. I think it's – I'm, I'm going to vote to allow it because I think it's similar to me going tomato with the top yes. five fruit, and I got lambasted for okay. it, which I don't think was correct. Thinking outside the box. Because it is a fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. you got to allow it, Bob. All right. That, all right. Change change it up though a little bit because, Baradon, I think that it would – I think it will end up being in yours too. That totally changes my list. Um, but if it's allowed – Let's let's roll with that. That's the number yep. three spot. Number two spot. I'm going to throw you another curveball. I'm going to go with the tater tot at number two. Number two tater tots. Some of my favorite. Some of my favorites to have. They're super under, just undervalued and not looked at. And the number one for me. Mikey v, hold on, Mikey V. Do you have an issue here? We got yeah, another I, uh, issue. I think tater tot is not a French fry. I, by, I don't think it's a fry by any estimation. Joe, I, the home fries, I totally agree with, but the tater tot, I think you're really, now you're pushing the envelope. Because tots or fries is like a totally separate option usually. I, I don't know. That's a tough one for me to, to buy. All right, make the ruling, the two of you, judge and jury over here. Make the ruling. If you got to take it out, I got to take it out on my, on my, it's on my two spots. Bob, I called the last one. You could make the decision on this one. See, I actually would even go on the record to say that even with the sweet potato fry, although I love a sweet potato fry, I don't think it's a cut. Now, what I'm willing to do is I'm willing to change. I think what we could do is change to overall potato because I kind of think that's the route that we're going here. Because I, I, no, I, I think, no, I, think sweet, with fries. I think sweet I think sweet fry plays, Bob. For sure it does. I do. I mean, now my yeah. whole list is in question. Like, what well, are we then doing? I'll tell you this. If if sweet potato fries makes the cut, then I'm going to grant tater tot. Okay. That's right. wonderful. Thank you very much. And then finally, number one, this was my favorite. It's a little nostalgic for me. My mom used to buy the McCain's ones. And I just, I will always remain very, very true to this fry. When I, ha when I see it, I have to order it. The crinkle cut fry for me is my absolute Great number fry. one. It's delicious. And not many places do it. Now, we'll see Shake Shack does a great crinkle cut fries. If you ever had it and they do the crinkle cut cheese fries, those are unbelievably delicious. But I remember McCain's used to have the commercial and I, my mom used to buy them for me. And they're just, they're undefeated in my book. That's, that's my number one. Okay. All that right, was a Mike. tough list to get through. I was, I was really dodging yeah, uh, and diving and ducking through some of these yeah there, there's a lot of there's a lot going on with this list there's a lot to be discussed <laughs> with this list mikey v i'll send it over to you okay number five i got sweet potato fry uh, i think sweet potato fries when done correctly but here's the thing with sweet potato fries a lot of places can't do them because they come out there's nothing worse than when sweet potato fries come out and they're mushy and i feel like sweet potato fries more than any other fry they don't travel well particularly yes. if you get it to go order they get very mushy very easily but when executed correctly i think they're phenomenal so for that reason they're at the bottom of my five but they're there sweet potato fry number four i like a shoestring fry those very thin cut very thin cut french fries shoestring fries at number four Number three, go ahead and give me the curly fry. I think curly fries are a dying breed. You don't see them around that much when you do. I think you have to capitalize. Give me number, give me curly fries at number three. I, I would put home fries in because, but I'm just not going to out of principle. I just don't, just for me, I didn't have it in my list. Joe put it. I'm not going to add it back into my list. I, I, even though I think home fries are incredible, they'll probably be my honorable mention. I'm not going to keep them. Uh, number, what am I on? Number two. <laughs> two. Number three or number two? Number two. Number two, just give me a regular good old steak fry. Just give me the nice thick cut wedge steak fries. 
uh, you know, any kind of restaurant, steakhouse fries, things like that. The big thicker cut wedge cut fries. I love a steak fry, good steak fry. And then number one for me has to be the most indulgent of all the fries, in my opinion, the fattest possible French fry you could order without toppings aside. Give me a fucking waffle fry at number one. I think the waffle fry is the most indulgent fry of them all. I think it's like one of those things that like, you really, I, I'm almost like when I go out, I'm almost like hesitant and embarrassed to order it because I think it's such a, sometimes a slovenly move, but nothing quite hits like a good fat I tell you what, waffle fry. Give you me get a waffle, waffle fry, number one. If you get a waffle fry, make sure you get a lot of condiments because the surface area of each one of those oh, take up oh. half of a packet of yeah. ketchup or, or whatever, mayonnaise, whatever you're putting on it, it it'll indulge. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind the list, Mike. If you, you know, my only problem with steak fry is the potato to batter ratio. It's so much more potato. Like to me, you can't have regular standard cut fries, right? You could eat without, you don't need any sauce. I think with the steak fry, you have to have sauce on there because it's yeah, so much yeah. potato. You know what I mean? I love I love to have fries with, with I like to have multiple different types of condiment. I could use mustard, I could use mayo, I could use uh ketchup, I could use honey mustard. Honey mustard and fries is fucking yeah, delicious in my, in my yeah. you know, even some of those special like sauces it's like delicious. garlic or when they do like garlic parm, garlic truffle parm on top of the fries. Very good. And, there's so many things, but um all right. All right, we'll keep it moving along here. Um for me. Number five, give me the crinkle cut. It's a classic. It, it's a staple. Um, if you're going to do frozen fries, I think crinkle cr cut is your fry. Um, number four, give me the curly fry. Got no issue with the curly fry. I mean, I think that's what the only thing keeping Arby's afloat is the curly fly. It's really all they have right now. Um, but with that being said, Mikey V, I do agree that I do think it's a dying breed. Um and number three, great fry. Give me the waffle fry. Um, already a great fry, but I think Chick-fil-A just went ahead and dropped their balls on the waffle fry and, and made sure people know that that was going to be there to stay. Um, so the waffle fry will always have that. Number two, give me the classic standard cut fry. That's a good play. I can't believe I look back. We sh I probably should have fit that in somewhere. Yeah, I think you got to have it. I, it you got to have the classic one in there. And then number one, um, of course, I mean, Joe, you know, uh, the home fry, home the, fry, the home yep. fry. You know, the thing for me, and I, I, I found that at one spot in LA, shout out Factors Deli, uh, service stinks, but that's neither here nor there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it does. It's terrible. Just I mean, me and shout, out, there. Shout, shout out Factors Daddy. Even though shout out. Good job. You know what he oh, does, Bear Dad, which is the sickest thing is he will go to a restaurant, like if we have breakfast, and he'll walk around the restaurant and he'll be like, I'm going to take a lap. I said, To see what? He's like, I want to see if I can see any home fries and see what they look like. I'm like, hey. Bob, the home fry is not even the staple of the plate. It's normally a side that you get along with your breakfast. And this guy's scoping out people's plates to see if he can see the texture and quality of a home fry on another table before ordering. Because yeah, if executed correctly, they can quickly go from, from the side the side show That's to the correct. main event very quickly. That's very quick. This Thank guy you. loves home fries more than anything I've ever seen. I've never seen a love for a home fry more than Bob has. It's it's and you know undefeated. What? It's so rarely done the right way. I mean, if you're on the East Coast, you can trust it. If I go to Jersey, I could trust it so much more. So many people don't do it right. And, and it, it affects the direction of my meal choice to where even if it's like a brunch time, I might not get an omelet because I don't like the home fries that come with the omelet to where I might just go like a chicken Caesar wrap with French fries. Um, and I do do that. I absolutely do that. And I think it should be done more even just with meals regardless so that you could just see what you're working with. Um, yeah, yeah, I do love me a good home fry, and I love the fellas, and I love the Brill and Lee Dump show. And you gotta love Tuesdays because where else do you get Giuseppe D on a Tuesday morning? Where else do you get Mikey V on a Tuesday morning? Fellas, it don't get much better than this. A uh, big, big shout out to the big ticket, by the way. Yeah. The, the way he got that nickname to me, I mean, Joe, <laughs> mean you've known him longer. We don't talk about how great that nickname standing outside of West Virginia football field. If you want a regular ticket to the game, you ask for a ticket. If you want weed, you ask for the big ticket. I just think it's, <laughs> I think it's absolutely. <laughs> and, 
<laughs> A1 marketing. A1 yeah. marketing and advertisement there. Uh, <laughs> folks, that does it, fellas. I love you. I appreciate you. That's another edition of the Brilliant Dumb Show. We will see you next Tuesday. Take care, fellas.